Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this episode of Cup TV brought to you by www.craftshoeprint.com. In this episode we're going to be looking at a gorgeous kit from Carol Dunn and the cup number is cup 5280941073. underscore one seven three. The kit is called the Vintage Floral Patchwork Layered Butterfly Easel Card Kit. And it's four sheets in the kit, plus the card front and plus instructions. And the great instructions because they're a good step-by-step -step to show you if you've never made an easel card before. Carol's thought of everything and I want to run through um, the sheets that you get in the kit. And then we're going to make the card to show you just how easy it is. So the first sheet in the kit is the main card base, the butterfly base. And this is part of the stopper at the top to help the easel stand up. Next in the kit, we've got the actual easel card liner, which we're going to line part of the card with. And we've got some gorgeous sentiments. And I just want to point one out here that says handmade by. Now this is excellent for putting on the back of your card and you fill your name in along the dotted lines and then the person that you're giving it to will know that you've made that for them. So the next sheet is the large butterfly and the medium butterfly and Carol's added embellishment buttons and she's also added um, where you need to score the medium butterfly. It will be the same for the smaller one as well but you actually put directions on there for where you score because then you can make the butterfly wings stand out. The last sheet in the kit are extra sentiments and the smaller butterfly again with the details for where to score either side of the butterfly body and a blank sentiment as well so that you can add your own um, sentiment. So we're going to make the card and as I say, there's easy to follow instructions in the actual kit anyway. So the first thing I've done is I've cut out the card base. Now on the instructions, there are um, guidelines for where you can score. So you will need a bone folder to be able to score along the two lines that are shown on the base sheet. So first thing that you do, now I've already got tape on the back of mine and I'll show you for why when we get to that point. So we're going to score along the edges where the guides were on the sheet. If it helps, you can always score while the, before you cut it out. So you could score along the lines and then cut it out. Now the action that we're going to be looking for, the folds, are we're going to fold towards us and then we're going to fold in. And that gives you the mechanics for the easel. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our liner. Now this was on sheet two and this is a piece of gorgeous floral that matches into the design that makes a liner for the card and so that you don't have any white bits and we simply place that, I've put double sided tape on the back of mine and we simply place that over that section there. Now I'm going to turn the card over and I'm going to add my handmade sticker and this was, I'm saying sticker, the sentiment. I've added my name and I'm going to position it just to the back there, just towards the centre, just with using double sided tape. Now I'm going to turn the card back because we're going to add the butterfly. Now you can see on the tail section that I've cut out, I've already added double sided tape. So I'm going to peel the top of my tape away and it's only on this section, it's only on half of it, where the half of the butterfly is. Because we're going to add the butterfly, the largest of the three. Now you don't want any tape on the back of this. And you're going to marry up 
the bottom of the butterfly wings to the bottom of the card that you've got tape on and you're going to marry up the edges if they're not perfect when you put them together from your cutting out you can just simply give them a little trim and pop, pop that down you see under normal um, situation I'm not filming I will just trim that away and then that's the beginning of our easel card so you can see now how it's starting to build up so my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the butterfly now Carol has given instructions about where to score at either side of the butterfly body so it's either side here give it a score and then give it a fold to make sure you've got that section nice and sharp and then what I've done is I've added flat tape through the body of the butterfly and I've just added a little bit of 3D foam at either side of the wings so we can add butterfly number two on top so the body will sit flat and then you've got a little bit of decoupage for the wings then we can take butterfly number three and I've done exactly the same I've got flat tape on the body I've scored it and folded it at the side of the body and then I've also got 3D foam so I can add butterfly number three on top so we've built the layers for the butterflies now I'm going to take the little buttons that Carol's added and I'm going to add them in all four corners of the butterfly and get them just on the wing tips there and the fourth one at the other side I've also got the three smaller buttons now I'm going to add those to the butterfly in the center and again these are just on 3d foam and there we go the last one on the wing tip there so that's our butterfly built up nicely now I'm going to build the section for the easel that's going to stop the butterfly from falling over shall we say because we want it to stand up proud so we're going to take our first section that we cut out on 3D foam and this was on the um, base sheet and I'm simply going to position it just towards the centre of the card and press it down and then I've taken the sentiment of my choice and I've used with love I've got 3D foam on the back of it and I'm going to add that just partially over the previous embellishment and I'm going to press it down and that will act as the stopper for the butterfly like that very difficult to show you on film but it will stand up nicely like that and you can see from the side how it's the perfect easel now I'm going to lift it up now and it'll probably all um, topple over so you can see how it stands up and it's such a beautiful design and how easy was that to make a gorgeous easel card folds flat to go in an envelope and I just I think that's beautiful is that so I'm going to remind you of the cup number from Carol Dunn and it's cup number cup 528 094 underscore 173 please be sure to check it out and check out um, the rest of Carol's beautiful designs there's plenty more to see on there I do hope you've enjoyed watching and this has given you a good idea of how to make 
Carol's gorgeous easel card. So thank you for watching and we shall see you next time.